Maria Timmer Feyeva to play Coco Goff in the quarterfinals. For both these young women, 21-year-old Marta Kostuk against 20-year-old Maria Timofeva, who's playing her seventh match of this year's Australian Open, having come through qualifying. Favour looking today to be just the second qualifier to reach the quarterfinals since 1990. Zhang Shui did it, you might remember, in 2016 if you've got an incredible tennis memory. Oh, nicely done on the backhand volley. Yeah. court game Marta Kostyuk and that is a very bright start for the Ukrainian 21 year old I've seen quite a few of those backhand down the lines from her over the first week it's important to be able to take advantage of that shot too you know your opponent's going to be on the full stretch and they have to hit a defensive shot and that's just the right moment to come to the net why is that backhand down the line in particular such an important uh, shot in the women's game. Well, it's important in the men's game as well. You know, you've got a little bit less court to work with. The net's a fraction higher. It's a more difficult shot to hit. Maria Timofeva to serve. Of course, in a battle of right-handers, the recovery position for most is slightly left of the centre mark, isn't it? So that means just a little bit more space to try and run down balls. This Maria Timofeva started rather slowly against Caroline Wozniacki in her second round match, roared back in that match. I don't think Wozniacki knew what had hit her. Are you expecting a, perhaps a little bit of a slow start from her? <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs>
That second serve, just 125 k's. And Kostic, she was inside the baseline, took it early, cut down your opponent's reaction time. Here's the shot clock. Players have 25 seconds to start their serve. Yeah, so then what you do with the serve, because you don't want to play a, a hit a second serve, so you take the pace off the first serve, and that was exactly what happened there. Kostuk was looking for that one, just 158 Ks. She was aggressive again and has earned herself a first break point. Followed up that second serve well. from Marta Kostiuk using the slice there and then just slightly ramping up at a little bit, bit of an injection of pace. Well, there's the rally ball and then there's a ball that you do just a little bit more with. It gets flattened out. It's not a complete winner, but it sets you up to come into the net. And what a start the Ukrainian has made. She's got the early break in hand. Two love. Two leads, two games to love. No hesitation on the big forehand. She didn't hit and wait and then go. She just hit and went. And that's why she was in good position with the volley. She was inside the service line. Nice volley that she had to open the racket face. It was below the height of the net. You would have been happy with that one in your career. <laughs> I'll take that. We've seen a lot of variation from Marta Kostiuk so far, perhaps something that uh, Caroline Wozniacki in round two and Beatrice Hadaj Mai didn't do against the 20 year old. The one is beautifully done. Good wheels here, but it was telegraphed, the drop shot, wasn't it? Plenty of time for. Timothy Ava to run that down up and over. I'd imagine that Marta Kostuk is thinking. <laughs> She's got to try and move her opponent, given that this is Timothy Ava's seventh match. 30 15. Just misses that one. So far, the 20 year old has played over 11 hours. Ball. Ball. 
30 all. First double fault of the contest. Let's for service. Can't get much closer than that. Break back point. Ball. Second serve there, right at the body. Kiefiava, she had to get out of the way, didn't she? And couldn't cr quite get the pace of shot. So Kostuk taking advantage once again. That's clearly the game plan today. Try and get in as much as possible. a strange shot from Maria Tema Vieva. It looks like she changed her mind. Mm, she didn't know what to do with that at ball. Costume. Maybe it was just a bit of indecision. A poor drop shot, really, from Marta Kostyuk, but she gets away with it. Done. And Marta Kostic's going to the umpire immediately. As soon as she slipped midpoint there, you just know that yes. the umpire is going to call time here. There's just a little bit of drizzle. Not going to chance anyone slipping and hurting themselves. Let's get started. Marta Kostic to resume. She leads two love. Ready. Juice. Play. Two minutes in between points. Second take did feature a very, very short warm up before the rain came back again. Great points for Tim of Favor. Had one earlier in this game, not taken. Now it's a good weapon that the serve, 181 Ks. Close to the I fastest one she's point. served so far in this match. Another chance for Marta Kostyuk to move into a three love lead.
moments of beauty. Longest rally of the match. Both ladies just trying to find their timing. Yes. After the couple of rain delays. Good eye from Kostyuk. I like that play. Advantage Kostyuk. Once again, no hesitation in moving forward. She hit that backhand flat and hard. She hit two of them, as a matter of fact. The second one, she thought she'd follow in. Drew the error. Oh, she didn't win the point. What a terrific lob. That was from Timothy Ava. First volley that Kostya had to hit was low. She had to hit up, and that's the shot that gave her opponent the chance to go up and over. She saw how close Kostya was to the net. Perfectly placed lob. Beautiful point construction, isn't it, from Marta Kostic. Been up to the net now ten times already. We haven't even completed three Advantage games. And won seven of those points. Game. And finally, and it has been a long time coming. Marta Kostyuk, not an easy position for either of these players Kostyuk having to stop start with the weather, but uh, she leads a three love and has the break in hand. This Marta Kostyuk plays an awful lot of doubles a lot with her good friend Gabby Rusa, who was at her wedding last year. It does help, doesn't it, playing doubles with the net skills and the volleys? Well, she won with uh, Krachikova. She won Birmingham, so one of the lead-up tournaments to Wimbledon. And you can see the skills. And very often I look at girls on tour and, and I say, you know what, you should play doubles a little bit more because it makes you a more complete player. You get shots on the doubles court that you don't get on the singles court. Slice approaches and certainly the ability at the net. I mean, you wouldn't have to play doubles every week, but certainly if they played a little bit more, it would help their singles game. Kostyuk ranked 37 in singles, 35 on the double circuit. Done. Maria Timofeva to serve. Puts the towel in her box, her designated box. Down a break. If you're just tuning in. This match has been tighter than the score suggests.
Kurt Tila. to love for the 20-year-olds. She's up and running in this fourth round match. Golf two cleans, three games to one. Six winners now for Kostyuk. Ball. Tried to change up the pace there with the slice, just put a little bit too much on it. It's a clean game from Kostyuk so far. Yeah. Oh, that is absolutely superb from the 21-year-old. Sandra Zanevska, her Kostyuk coach, applauds. Kostyuk leads 4-1. Got lots of weapons, hasn't she, Marta Kostuk? She's got a good serve, regularly close to 180 k's an hour, and puts the opponent on the back foot immediately. See there, pushed well behind the baseline, and then once again, it's Kostuk coming forward, looking to be aggressive, hit that swinging volley. But we've seen her play the other type of volley as well. We talked about her doubles prowess, and she's had to call on all her reserves today and doing a fine job. Mixed up her coaching team. This time last year was working with Staz Kaminsky, the current coach of Yelena Ostapenko. He and Ostapenko had broken up for a time, got back together time. now. Four one lead for Marta Kostyuk. Place in the quarterfinals against Coco Goff at stake for the winner of this one. Ukrainian fans in the crowd here in Kia Arena, making their voices heard. Oh. Kostyuk beat Alina Avanation in the previous round and went out to celebrate with many of them. Love 15. 
Stuka has just pointed to, to her headless. She's using her brain out here. Well, that shot comes from pressure. Timothy over there is feeling the pressure of having to possibly go for a shot that she's not all that comfortable playing. She didn't make it, but the intent was clear, wasn't it, to be aggressive off that short serve. Called it an acceptable error. And that is a terrific winner. 30-15. Seven for to a favour. Oh, well played. What a great point that was. Both players doing their stuff. To a favour comes up with the winner. Four C fifteen. i not sure if Kostic may have hit an out ball there, but it was close enough where she had to go for it, if you're not sure. There's nothing worse, is than turning your back and seeing it land in. Game. Some impressive shot making. Cost two cleans, four games to two. Fieva may be down, but she's certainly not out. That's the most aggressive game she's played. She's been forced to play like that because her opponent is doing just that from the other end. Tuna Fieva was a set and break down against Caroline Wozniacki in the second round. Came back very nicely indeed in that one. Well, it was advantage, smart to cost you, but it's not her that wins the point. A big celebration from the qualifier. Look how close Timofeyeva is to this to the net on this shot. Kostuk doesn't see it. The lob, of course, would have won the point. Good cover up the line from Timofeyeva. And a huge roar from Marta Kostuk. 30-15. No stace. There's a lot of spice, isn't there, in this match? Both players know it's a great opportunity. She knew she had to play that shot, Timofeyeva, but she wasn't comfortable playing it. Being pulled forward, making an error off the slice. Oh, that's 
That's exceptional tennis from Marta Kostyuk. What a great tennis IQ from the Ukrainian. She is giving Timofeeva all she can handle with lots of different shots, lots of different spins and looks. And she keeps her break advantage five games to two in this opening set. Finally got our teeth into this fourth round match. Now the weather has cleared up. Blue sky ahead, nice fluffy clouds, no sign of rain at the moment, which has interrupted this match uh, on a couple of occasions. So far, Marta Kostyuk has handled with proceedings the best of all and leads this opening set five games to two. 34 minutes on the clock. Players have been out on Kia Arena for over an hour now. There's been quite a lot of waiting. Ball. I just wonder if Maria Timofeeva is slightly wearing out. It's been a long couple of weeks for her. Help with the new balls here, Timothy Ava. Approaching 160 Ks on that first serve. Something on that forehand from Kostyuk. 15 13. There's no doubt that Marta Kostyuk wants this win very, very much. Be her first major quarter final. She can pull through. Oh. Let second service. husband of Marta Kostyuk sitting next to her coach. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
another unforced error from Timo Weber. Hans Marta Kostjuk, the opening set. Six games to two. She has one foot in the quarterfinals. Kostjuk takes the opener in 37 minutes. Six games to two. What do you think, Liz? Maria Timofeyeva has to do here to turn this match around. Well, she has to rely a little bit on Kostyuk going off the boil a little bit, doesn't she? Right on Kostyuk's done a good job of keeping Fing those unforced on. errors low. There was just a handful of them. And considering the way she plays, you know, that's a big part of Kostyuk's game, isn't it? Because she likes to go for the big flat shot off both wings. And I think it seems what's impressed you the most about Kostyuk is how much variety, how much she's been mixing it up today. And yeah, well, she does have the slice and once she gets to the net, she knows what to cover. She's more than a competent volleyer. That's great depth from Timofeeva, and she's got a lot of weight of shot behind that backhand, really leans into it. But you it. know what, though? Kostic knows that she's probably not going to come in after that. So, whereas, you know, you do the reverse, and Kostyuk's coming in if she has the ability to do that, and she has the opportunity. So that takes a bit of pressure off Kostyuk, even though she didn't win that point. Trouble with the ball is picked up in the wind. I wonder how much court and how far back in the court Timothy Haver is being pushed. 40 30. Constant dialogue is Maria with her coaches, her name Morel and Maxime Zamora. She comes Game. again, Marta Kostyuk. She was terrific at the net in set one. First game, set one. Sierra on leads. So far, hasn't been broken. Lina Svitolina of Ukraine reached the quarterfinals in 2018. And a look at the win prediction, Marta Kostyuk at 91% Liz. Do you think that's about fair or is that too harsh on Timofeeva? Is that now or was that before the match started? That's right now. Oh, well, it's easy to predict once the match is <laughs> early in the second set. It wasn't quite so one-sided at the start of the match. Is the world number 37 against the world number 170. 100 in the live rankings, though. Maria Timofeeva. It's constant pressure, isn't it? Because the serve is 141 Ks as to the opponent whose serve is 170, 180. So you're under the pump immediately from the returning of Kostyuk. It's the team of Timueva. Morel and Zamora watching her play her seventh match. The Australian Open 2024. 
good work. Kostic on the full stretch on a couple of occasions in this point, doing her best just to stay in the point, but to no avail. Timofeeva had to face countrywoman Daria Ashikova in the first round of qualifying, then beat Australia's Astra Sharma, graduate of Vanderbilt University in the United States, and then got the better of Priscilla Hon, another Australian. That one was in three sets. That was just to qualify. Oh. Forceful play. What we don't know is if she has the legs to carry on that forceful play, because that's how she ground down Karo Wozniacki in round two. It's a very heavy ball, the 20 year old. Selection from Kostuk has been excellent. Today we saw it again yes. in that point. Now she has the rally ball, that ball there, but when she decides she wants to go for a little bit more and she's comfortable and set up perfectly, she just puts a little bit more on it and draws the error. Oh, she's missed it. The previous shot from Kostyuk was close enough. That one just a little wide. Advantage, Timofeva. That double fault is a direct result of Kostyuk's yes. positioning in the court. Timothy Ava knows that's going to come back with interest. She knows she has to do a little bit more with it and feel the pressure. Consequently, double fault. Lucky net court, she'll take it. Advantage. Kirsi, apology. Coaches do have access to the statistics. You can see what's going on by the numbers. And we have all the numbers up here too, don't we? But the reality yes. is that being able to analyse what's happening on the court is a huge part of professional sport. And these girls wouldn't know the exact numbers, but they would have a fair idea about how they're serving, how they're returning, what the strategy should be. Well, the idea was good. It was just poorly executed. Advantage, Timofeva. 
Don't think that ball was a little deep in the court for Kostyuk to play the slice. Well, her opponent was meters behind the baseline. Let for service. Kostyuk has come out here with a clear game plan. Helped along the way. Youth. 15th unforced error from Tim of Favor to go along with her 12 winners. That's a bit of first serve, 175. Advantage. 20k or so just makes the difference. Sets up the point just a little bit better for it. Game. And a strong ending to a tight game, a necessary hold for Maria Timo Favor. Brings the score levels at one, one game, all. game all, second set. The longer that game went for, the more important it became, and it was an absolute must win and a good hold of serve after seven and a half minutes. <laughs> Where's her heart on her sleeve? Doesn't see Marta Kostyuk. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are now ready for playing. Oh. It's okay to wear your heart on your sleeve, but you still have to control your emotions, don't you? We've seen Fifteen it a couple long. of times when she went for the big forehand and she missed and she looked straight at the coach and then certainly having an extended conversation with the coach and then another little chat with the umpire about noise in the stadium. Oh, it's well played from Marta Kostyuk. Good disguise. And it's important not to get distracted. You know, Kostyuk's playing well. She's got the first set. And she's serving first in the second set. No reason for her to get too annoyed by anything just yet. Beautiful precision. And 182 kilometers an hour on that serve. 40 love. In the match, cost you winning three quarters of first service points. Been highly effective. Game Kostyuk. And another one ticked off for Marta Kostyuk. No problem for her. Kostyuk leads two games to one. Two on second set lead to go with her first set, 6 2. Yeah, last year did Marta Kostyuk overall. 26 wins, 22 defeats. 22 of those wins were on hard courts. Picked up that title. A maiden singles title coming in Austin, Texas, the ATX Open. Got engaged just after winning that title. She's got a game too, Kostyuk, that relies quite a bit on confidence. And you know, when she gets her teeth into an event, and she's confident. You can see how she would go on and finish the job. She's well, flat and hard. She's got lots of weapons. She can come forward. Time. Fans on Kia Arena enjoying this match. Might not look like it from the score, but it's been a fair amount of drama. Both players vying for their very first major quarter-final. It's 
So far, it's Marta Kostyuk and her team in the lead. This was off the Timofeva racket, but once again, it's Kostyuk making that error, isn't it? Good wheels from Kostyuk. Turn defence into attack, was looking for the drop shot. Covered it well. Love that and nice team. touch to finish off the point. There's a slide long way behind the baseline. Good angle, opened up the racket face a little. Great athleticism. Oh, well done. Ball sitting there nicely. Timothy over. Needs a few more of those in this Fifteen point here, in this game here, excuse me. Really can't let Kostyuk get the early lead in this second set. It's got to stay with her. a well-played point. Timothy Ava had the opportunity early in that point. She was inside 15, the service line. 14. She hit and retreated back to the baseline. Consequently, it was Kostyuk who found her way at the net. Two break points. Please, thank you. One hour yeah. on the clock, and Marta Kostyuk has the breakthrough. Periods of sustained pressure. And Maria Timofeva perhaps just slightly unravelling here. She discusses her woes with the coach. She's down a set and a break. Take a seat quickly, please, behind the players, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for playing. Fifteen love. Stay calm here, Kostyuk. She's down the same end of her team was down, and it's really once again quite a bit of conversation happening between what's going on off court and what's going on on the court. Oh. A 
just drags that one a little wide. Now, well, there's no reason to go on the line, is there, for that shot? I mean, she's pulled the opponent wide. She's got a lot of court. Just aim for half a metre inside all lines, and you're going to be in a good position in the point anyway. Brain fog, isn't that here for Marta Kostyuk? I remember she's trying to do something in a major that she's never done before. So, you know, the pressure is on. Of course, you can't think about the end result. You have to just still go through the process. A couple of break points. to do it. Controlled aggression there from Kostyuk. 30-14. more break points. That's four from the match. Oh, that was a big one, though, wasn't it? Left thigh takes and a bit of a hammering there. Timofieva not pleased at all. That was a bad miss. When she knows the opportunities are getting more scarce and the finish line is approaching. Oh. mounting here. There's no doubt that Marta Kostyuk's got a little tight. Oh. Between serves, the conversation continues. cleanly as she would have liked. Advantage, Kostyuk. But Kostyuk will take it very quickly through the ball. Volley perhaps a little bit closer. Well, <laughs> good form on the volley though. Firm wrist, racket head up. Another game point.
Yeah, but step round that early, determined to hit a forehand, but it's a netted a forehand. A couple of break Four points games. come and go. Four games to one. And Marta Kostyuk extends her second set lead. 4-1. Sandra Antonevska trying to keep her player nice and calm. There's been a lot of dialogue as for Maria Timofeva as her chances come and gone. There have been some today. She talked about her great run here and said, I always felt I have something in my game I can pursue. If I'm in the right mental state, I can play good. So I think now everything is just coming together. I'm having one of the best weeks of my life so far. Those nice memories probably a little bit lost today because she hasn't brought out her best tennis. She's been put under extreme pressure. You, know, you can only uh, do so much when your opponent is playing the way that Kostyuk is playing. Favour to serve at 1 4, second set, having lost the opener six games Thank you, to two. Ladies and gentlemen, ready for play. We have seen many twists in the tails during the Australian Open 2024. Are we going to have another one? Oh, gee, that's a well played point. Once again, it's Kostyuk just showing us her athletic ability here. Low nice slice team. up the line. It stays low. And when she gets to the net, she knows what to cover. Closes toward the net, hits the volley down into the court. Oh. Nine of ten net points won in this set for Kostyuk. So, you know what, don't worry about the occasional miss. You know, it's okay to be hard on yourself, but when it starts having a negative impact, that's the thing that has just been a little bit concerning today for Kostuk if she's to move forward in this event. Shot. Well, she hit it with two hands, didn't she, in the end, Kostyuk? 15-13. It's awkward looking, but she'll take it. It just got a little bit further behind her what, than what she anticipated, I think, Kostyuk. Nico uh -oh. spoke about the stress that she was under and felt during this Australian Open. At the beginning of the tournament, she said she was feeling relaxed. Oh, just wide, perhaps taken that way because of the net cord. But it is a stressful situation, these majors, and then getting further and further, particularly if you're looking at a first 30, ever quarterfinal. 14. It's uncharted territory for both ladies. This would really put an exclamation point on this match. Kostic could manage to break here. She does. A lot of air now between these two. 5-1, Marta Kostyuk. Kostyuk leads five games to one. 
and she will serve for a place in the Australian Open quarterfinals. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for play. Let's for service. One down, three to go. Fifty love. to break down the defence of Marta Kostyuk there. Tim Fiova talked about how aggressive she's been in this match, Kostyuk, but when she's had to defend, gee, she's done well. Her hand skills in that point, her athletic prowess coming to the fore. Now just two points away. Second service. Oh. It's wide. Once again, Kostyuk winning the battle of cat and mouse. Three match points. Four Tila. Maybe a little bit adventurous to <laughs> approach from such a deep part of the court, Kostyuk. 40 15. Had three, three setters coming into this match, did Marta Kostyuk. Lengthy battles. Let's for service. All three lasting well over two hours. Claire Liu. Elisa Mertens and Alina Avanesian. We saw a little tightness earlier on with Kostyuk up 3-1. Managed to get through that 40, game. 40-30. This one becomes a lot more difficult. 40-love, 40-30. Two match points saved. After one hour and 16 minutes, Marta Kostyuk whacks the ball into the crowd. She's into her first ever major quarterfinal. Gets the better of Maria Timofieva. There will be no handshake, just a gesture of well done and congrats. And all eyes are on the woman in future. Marta Kostyuk is moving on to the last eight.
and she does it in style. An excellent performance today from Kostyuk. It was controlled aggression. Everything she did well, she served a high percentage. They were effective serves when the ball was short, as we see. Maria Timofieva lead the court. She can be very proud of her efforts here at the Australian Open, coming through qualifying and winning the three matches that she did. But it was this lady's day today. Too much firepower off the ground. Excellent work at the net. And just when she had to defend, did a good job there too. I'll be interested to hear what she says about how she played because she did get just a little bit antsy early in that second set. Well, she won't be able to afford to do that against Coco Goff in the next round. But she certainly got the game to bother Goff. We're going to hear from Marta Kostyuk. Well, congratulations, Marta. You are through to the quarterfinals for the first. <laughs> well, you've got some fans in the crowd, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Hi, guys. Thank you for your support. Well, you're through to the quarterfinal for the first time in Grand Slam, your Grand Slam career. It must mean a lot to you. It's been a journey to get to this point. Tell us how much does it mean? Um... I don't know. I, honestly, it means a lot and I still probably cannot process it because on the rain break I told my coach that I don't even feel like I'm playing fourth round. I don't know. It, it really didn't feel like this. Um, I didn't feel the pressure today and yeah, it's, it's great to have uh, this kind of match in a Grand Slam. More time to recover, uh, more time to, you know, to just process everything and uh, yeah, it was, was a good match for me. I'm very happy to finally play as aggressive as I want. It uh, was not easy against previous opponents. They are just different, you know, and different pressure also. So yeah, I'm extremely happy to be in the quarterfinal. Well, talk to us about this match. You know, it was a pretty tricky with that rain delay. You know, it was just sprinkly enough that you didn't leave the court. You had to stay around, but you had to hold that focus. It was interesting to hear you say that you didn't get too nervous, but you came out, looked a little bit on edge, had that, that break. How do you hold the focus then in that rain break? Um, I, uh, I don't know. I think it's, it's a matter of practice. I, I think we, we worked a lot on specifically on this and with my team and yeah, I'm very happy to see that uh, it's working. I'm succeeding and yeah, it's, you know, it's never easy. It's uh, always tricky. You know, you prepare for the match for two days and then once you get into it, you know, it's to all uh, advantage for me and, oh, to, sorry, to zero advantage for me. And, you know, suddenly this rain and you're scared that you might lose this momentum. So yeah, obviously uh, I, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I just, I just wanted to fight and uh, honestly to be out of this court as soon as possible. <laughs> well, you won the, the girls singles here at Melbourne Park in 2017. You made your debut at Grand Slam level here in the Australian Open and now you're through to your first ever quarterfinal at Grand Slam level. You must love playing tennis here. Uh, yeah, I do. I love this tournament. It's my favourite tournament, my favourite fans, my favourite Ukrainian fans and um, very happy to be back here every single year. You know, I, on, I also had that some tough years here, 2019, 2020, 21. It wasn't, wasn't easy, it wasn't nice years for me here, but you know, I, I held this love in my heart for this, for this place and uh, finally it's, it's, good to, it's good to be in the quarterfinal. Well, you are playing with such great self-belief and there's a lot of confidence in the way that you're playing. Looking ahead, you have the fourth seed, Coco Goff. It's a fantastic matchup for the fans to watch. How do you feel about it? Um, yeah, I think it's, it's a great match. It doesn't get easier and I need to be as aggressive as I can be. You know, this, these are the players, these are top five players left. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it's, I, I hope to put a good show and a good fight and yeah, up only. <laughs> well, go enjoy that one. It was a great victory. Well done, Kiarina. Please put your hands together through to their first ever quarterfinal at Grand Slam level. Mata, cost.